Hello and welcome to this Power BI video. We are continuing our Dex vs SQL series and uh, we have seen um, uh, quite a few combination till now. Now we are continuing this and today we are going to continue with a new combination where we are going to create some columns where we have some calculations. Now they can be calculated column or major. In this case primarily we are going to create majors in Power BI. Now the first thing which we wanted to try out is that you know uh, we wanted to have a column or major we, we can call it in SQL we have uh, wanted to have this item ID 37 along with the quantity. So what is going to happen here is that we are going to say uh, create our calculation and in, in case of SQL we are going to create a calculation inside sum like we don't need a kind of sum x or different function inside sum you can do whatever calculation you want. So we say case when item ID equals 37 then quantity as 0 it means wherever it is not available it is going to return as 0. Okay, and we are not filtering it out. We are simply saying create a column where it is uh, 37 or 0. Okay, so so whenever it is satisfying, you give this and then let's execute this one. So once we execute, we get okay, city um, 79 has 261 quantity and uh, for 37 it has 2 quantity and then we have order by 2. So means this is coming at um, uh, the ascending order. So this is the minimum and then it keep on increasing. Now same thing if we have to do in DAX. Now in DAX we have tried it in couple of ways. So first in the group by we have used if. Now if switch we can use both or um, whatever you like based on the conditions. So if there are multiple conditions prefer switch because that switch true is uh, uh, equivalent of if you can keep on giving conditions and then uh, more than one condition. If you have one condition otherwise you have to use another if and then looping of if you can use switch in that case. Now here what we are saying if sales item id equals to 37 then give us quantity as give us zero that's what we are saying in the if and then in the sum x we are putting it with current group so basically in the sum x we in the second portion we have given the uh, calculation now the second way which we have done and there there is a difference between this way and that way we i'll explain to you now sum x filter sales and sales item id 37 okay so now in this case what would happen if something is a zero which is going to be written as blank for that we are not going to get any rows in power bi if you put it alone so if there is a if there is a city we are plotting by city where there is no 37 item that city is not going to come if we are going to put this major alone okay so let's see uh, now right now in case we are also putting uh, sales quantity so we are not going to see any difference out here so same 261 and 2 and now does it, this one makes any difference no same to 37 now in Power BI what I have done is I have already taken this one and then I created a major out here. Okay, how I created a major. So same SQL, uh, uh, same major script I have taken it from the uh, Dex Studio, SumX filter. So what I have done is I created a major out here. So how to create a major? You click on new major from the home tab and then you go ahead and uh, put your uh, code inside that one. So SumX filter sales, sales item ID equal to 37 sales quantity. Okay, so first part is a filter table basically and second part in that filter table what we wanted to achieve out here. Complete sales table is returned and then from there we are get taking the sales quantity. Now this is our major. Now we drag it here. Now we have to sort it here ascending. So uh, 26 is uh, okay. We have to sort it on quantity. So I also created a quantity major in the similar manner. I could have used it with some also. So I don't need a sum x or I can actually go ahead and put it like this also. Okay, so this is the same thing is going to work. Now, okay, so now let's sort it on this one 261 and 2. Okay, the same results which is coming now, uh, and, and we can change the position. We want this one second, we can actually move it at the second position. The same result uh, across all the three mediums that we are seeing right now. Now let's uh, try one more C version of the SQL. Okay. Now here we are seeing city ID and there actually we have used city. So uh, we can what we can do is we I, I let me add the city ID and I'm going to add city ID from sales just for our reference. Okay. So this is uh, city ID and this is city ID. Let's put it near to it. And this can bring average of city ID. So I'm going to put it as summarize. Okay. So and we know that you know we can actually take it from same table across table so that is also we are going to see in this one now the next sequel which we are going to take is 
that we are going to filter the New York also. Okay, now we want to filter New York and let's see um, how we do it in SQL. So SQL, what we are going to do is we are going to join it with the city and we are going to say, okay, filter it with New York. Okay, and then in this time when we are filtering it with New York, we are also going to take g.city. Uh, Power BI, we already taken city and city ID both. Now, so in this case, we are going to take city. Okay, g.city. So the formula remains same. Only thing is we are going to put a New York filter and then we want to see what is happening out here. So New York 6047 index. Index, uh, you remember last time we say whenever we want to add a filter, we will prefer to use this calculate table. So calculate table, we wanted to put a filter on geography table. Now I could have put filter simply on the sales, but this filter does not belong to uh, sales table. So I have to actually join it with geography. So that's why I am using calculate table. Calculate table take first parameter as table and then the filter which are with the joint table right now we are doing. Then uh, the summarize we are saying okay group it by city ID then give us the sum of sales quantity and then we are saying okay give us the filtered sales uh, qu item quantity and then it's order by sales. So we are done with this. Okay now let's execute this one. Item ID and this one we have used item ID uh, so we can actually go ahead and um, city ID we have used here and we could actually use also the city from uh, geography table okay so that also we can explore now here we go ahead and actually put a filter for New York because that's a setup we've already done so this is what we want okay now here in this one we would like to change it geography city now geography is joined with this one so we can actually copy this one and let us see does it work okay because it is joined now see remember this is not returning but this is a joined table so we are able to give new york 30 okay same results out here in the SQL New York. Okay. So filter has been applied. Now here the filter has been applied where geography table and we have actually to take a geography field. So when this is summarized and there are joined tables like this is many table and this is one table I can take the data from one table. So this is how and we have already done this in Power BI because joins are there we can have like we can click here we can remove city ID we can take it out. We are left out with New York and new city name is coming from geography now this is coming from customer let's take it from geography okay same number and let's take if you want city id and city id let's take from sales table so both way same results because there is no difference out here okay so now we are also done with this now let's try to uh, the last sql okay so now this time what we want is uh, we want a filter on the new york and uh, sales city ID and calculate item filter. So again, the same stuff we wanted to have it. Now this time what we are doing is we are going to put this filter in the SQL from a New York filter. And we are going to take a filter from item name. Okay. So the item name I'm filtering, I'm not filtering anyway. So what I need is I need a join. On item table also so I do a join on item table and filter item 37 okay so this is what I'm going to do so I'm going to get the same number but this is filter now in DAX I also need to filter from where where item name now what we have done here in the calculation is see this is a joined table so we are able to create it here so we are saying take the sales quantity and now we have used calculate now here also now the trick is in this place now what we need is a different table sum x just like we have seen in the past the filter is going to take the same table now we are using calculate because across table we need to go uh, if I would have used sum x I in the filter I would give this table then I would take uh, the uh, filter from that particular table I can uh, not go across table I can take a major from uh, wherever I like but a filter I will not be able to take I can take a major from the joint table but yes so we have used calculate, calculate sum of quantity and then filter just like calculate table any number of filters I can put here. 
so i'm saying filter item where item name equal to 37 so calculate now this is the same thing which we did we'll keep it copy and try it in power bi also and other rest of the stuff can remain same see see this is almost very similar to this one but here we are using some x here we we, we could, could do the same thing what we have done above here is calculate sales quantity and filter item id equal to 37 from sales also so same thing calculate we could have done the same thing okay so now we got this number now we are going to go here and going to create a new measure in power bi okay and we have taken this calculation and we are going to say item name 37 previously it was id now it is a name called 37 we have done one mistake here we correct this and let's drag it here again seven okay so now when you need it from a different table the filter from a different joint table you can use the filter clause and put the filter there actually that was also not necessary in calculate you can actually end up doing it like this also so filter clause is all but not necessary you can actually have it like this also you simply say it's a joint table it will do it okay so filter clause is when you have multiple stuff you can use that uh, otherwise you can simply like end up putting here just like this also so now we know uh, that you know how can we filter how can we filter and group and how can we filter across table inside a major now previously we see inside the table we how we get filter from related table and table itself now we know we can create the majors also so this is what i wanted to cover in this video uh, thanks for watching this video do subscribe to the channel i'll press the bell icon to get the notification for the new channel suggest us the better ways to do this or what videos you wanted to have a look at it thanks for watching thank you